that little shot there. Hi guys, welcome back to The Average. Today I've got something different planned again and it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. It's basically the 100th page challenge, which I don't know if anyone's done before, but I'm definitely going to do it today. So before we get into it, I wanted to talk about the book cover challenge and somebody suggested that I read Room and I'm currently reading it but I do want to paint over this one at some point. But also I have Stephen King's The Green Mile, which I uh, read a while ago. It's a great film as well, to be fair, because it has America's national treasure to the world, Tom Hanks in it, who is, you know, the king in my eyes. America's sweetheart, that's right, I'm calling it. Anyway, so I thought I would paint over this one. So. Um, vote now uh, the green mile or room which you'd like to see me paint over next week A or B comment down below because I can't do polls yet because I'm just a little baby channel so today I thought I would do my hundredth page book challenge and I was going to do To Kill a Mockingbird or <laughs> on the other end of the literary spectrum fangirl and both are great you know, one is a Pulitzer Prize winner and one is just a fun, like, good time and the cover is actually by, um, the girl who wrote that comic. Anyway, yeah, and it's just a fun story about this fan writer who's quite anonymously famous and she has issues with, um, OCD, I think? It's been a while since I read it or her father does or her mother does, something. But it's very good and she falls in love with this guy and it's very sweet. But yeah, basically what the 100 page book challenge is, is that I turn to page 100 on a random book that I've read and then I have to illustrate something on that page. So I'll pick out kind of keywords or situations and scenes within the within the page from the page and we'll see what we come up with. I don't know which to go for so I think I'm gonna flick to page 100 from each one and then see what I like. As it is the first one I've done, um, I'm allowing myself this little, little cheat. Okay, it's fine. Don't, it's fine. Let's go. Okay, so let's begin. I'll start with Fangirl. No, I'm not talking to you, Siri. God, every time. So, page 100. Okay, page 100 here. The drive to West Omaha with her dad was miserable and the drive to Lincoln without him was worse. I like that um, section. And basically what's happening here is, I'm not gonna do any major spoilers. The mum walked out on them when they were young. I am remembering now as I'm reading it. When um, she and her sister were young and now she's like trying to talk to her again and she's like, nah. And so she had a fight with her dad on this page. I quite like the last bit where she's driving with her dad and then she's not driving with him. I've been there anyway when it's like you're going to uni and you're like bye parents. <laughs> yeah, that one. Okay, let's see what um, To Kill a Mockingbird has to offer. Let's go, page 100. They don't do one thing but sing their hearts out. That's why it's a sin to kill a mockingbird. Oh no, that's a really good quote from this book and it's on this page. So I might have to do this, but I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna read through it quickly and then give you a little summary. Pause now if you want to read along. Do, 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 do. Okay, so except for the famous quote at the top, nothing much is really happening on this page. Our main character, um, Scout, is just talking to Miss Maldi, who I don't actually remember who she is. I am I think she might be her aunt or something like a great aunt. I don't have a very good memory. Maybe I should reread these books before I do them. But yeah, she's just talking to her great aunt about her father, Atticus Finch. So I'm not sure if I want to do this one, despite the cool quote at the top. So I think it's going to have to be fangirl of her just driving in the car alone, maybe? Or, hmm. So I have chosen fangirl and I might do To Kill a Mockingbird next week or the week after. I think I'm gonna um, rotate doing the book cover challenge and the 100 page challenge um, every time. So let's get started. Okay, I was like super quickly penciling down some ideas. She is driving back to Lincoln from West Omaha um, without her dad in the car and I thought I'd do like a car and then a scene of like the forest going by or something. So I'm just gonna look up some places in West Omaha and Lincoln that I kind of 
like and maybe I'll look up the route as well on Google Maps and see what route she would take and see kind of the wildlife that she would pass and things like that so I can include it in my initial sketches and then hopefully in the final piece which will be quite a fun little um, researchy thing to do. Right, so let's talk about why I chose to do this piece and how I went about doing it. Basically, what I, I'm just going to reiterate what I did before is I looked up places within the area that she drives and I figured it was too specific, so I just kind of looked up East Nebraska and I found a lot of um, open fields and plains and stuff and I realised that maybe in the book, I could be wrong, but I think in the book that she was driving it was like just after Christmas, so it was like quite snowy. So I wanted to kind of reflect the mood and tone of the book at that point, that she's quite sad that she's left her dad and she's driving back to university slash college and it's, um, you know, a long drive by herself and she's got thinking about the issues that have happened within the book. And yeah, I think it, it kind of works. I wanted to do just watercolours on this piece because I miss just using watercolours. I think um, I got a bit stuck because I think I was trying to apply it like it was gouache and it just didn't apply the same way so I think I need to keep turning to watercolours and then gouache simultaneously to kind of get used to each medium and not get rusty with the other one. I wanted to make the sky really pink because there was an image that I saw when I did my Google search and it had a really pink sky. I really love illustrations with that kind of atmosphere and I love a pink sky so I wanted to have that in there and I thought it would be a good contrast to the blue in the snow. I had a lot of fun playing with the reflections of the snow and the colours within that and building up wildlife around the car. I, I, re I liked how the car turned out eventually but I think I was struggling with that quite a lot and I left the pencil marks down quite rough and I mean it doesn't come out perfect I'm not really 100% pleased with it but I really enjoyed the process and I think that's the be all and end all of it anyway is that if I'm enjoying it then that's fine and um, it's not for anyone it's just for practice it's just a challenge for myself so if I have had a good time then that's a win right? And it's it also it was pushing outside the boundaries of what I'm used to doing because I'm used to doing like comics and maybe illustrations that focus mainly on a character and I haven't really ever done a painting of a landscape for a long time and a car as well which was really hard to do. So it's good to flex those muscles that I haven't flexed in a while. I First of all, what I did is I penciled out my idea after doing a lot of research about the area and what kind of landscape I wanted. Then I did watercolours on top and then I did some pencils to kind of come, like put some details out there and add a little bit of texture here and there. I also used an ink pen around the car to add definition. But yeah, I haven't really got anything else left to say about this piece and I hope that you guys like it, even if I don't really like it that much. And I hope you enjoy watching the rest of this and I'll see you at the end. Mind. 
I think I'm gonna call that one done. It's not quite dry, but it was quite fun to do because I really like playing with the shadows of the blue and the pinks of the sky kind of reflecting on the snow. I'm not a thousand percent sure that she's driving home in snow in the story, but I hope that I kind of reflected that sadness that she felt probably after leaving her father behind and driving back to university slash college by herself. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. It was fun to do and I need to do more backgroundy stuff. Obviously it's not perfect, but it's, um, you know, a finished background and that's new something that hasn't been done by me for a while so thumbs up for that again thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe if you want to see more of these challenges um, this is the first 100th page challenge I've done and actually I've got some collaborations in the work to do some more 100 page challenges so that's gonna be pretty good times oh yeah next week again don't forget to vote that i will be painting over either the green mile or the room i mean just room it's not the room see you guys next time and yeah bye